Can you remember your most embarrassing moment? A time when you were humiliated, ashamed, maybe even abused? Uh, one of my earliest moments of embarrassment came at my very last, emphasis on last, Boy Scout campout, overnight campout. Uh, in an effort to keep all 50 of us boys into our tents all night long, the scoutmaster said, hey, there are bears around here. <laughs> this was within five miles of my house. I knew there weren't bears around here. But in the middle of the night, when I had to go to the bathroom, I said to myself, self, there might be bears out there. So instead of getting out of my tent and going to the bathroom, I turned over with tears in my eyes. I turned over in my sleeping bag and relieved myself. And the next morning, a bunch of boys and even some scoutmasters had a great time laughing at eight-year-old Doug, who had a wet spot in the wrong place. <laughs> I've got plenty of other stories, but they're too painful too private, too shameful. We won't go there. <laughs> I am fairly certain that most of us have uh, stories locked up in our memories of moments like this. Uh, when, and, and I want to talk about the feelings of shame that are connected to those moments. And over the next few weeks, in the privacy and the quietness of your earbuds, I hope that we could have a, a quiet, helpful conversation about shame and how to find recovery from shame. And so we're going to ask some questions. Uh, what does shame look like? Where does it come from? Can I ever do enough to be enough? And what's the difference between unhealthy shame and healthy guilt. Where in the world do you turn to to find help for all of this? What if people would find out that I'm not as good as they think I am? And why in the world would I confess my shamefulness to a holy God who would probably just yell at me like my dad did and make it worse? Lots of questions over the next few weeks, um, maybe some answers. <laughs> Author and speaker Brene Brown in one of her early TED Talks suggests that shame only needs three things to grow in our life. Secrecy, silence, and judgment. Secrecy, silence, and judgment. And so when we decide to pursue that big, hairy, audacious goal in our life, shame is the gremlin in the back of our head that's going, no, 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 you're not good enough to do that. Who, who do you think you are applying for that position? Well, I, I know I've opened up a can of worms. Um, hopefully over the next few weeks, I'd, I'd like to give you an invitation and ask for a favor. The invitation is that you would join me over the next few weeks as we try to talk about and open our hearts to find recovery from shame. And the favor I'd ask is that if you know folks uh, who would be help, who could be helped by this conversation, would you be willing to share my video, share this video on your Facebook page, and we could partner together to try to share the good news of how to find recovery from shame. Welcome to Lent. Have a good week.